Today we're headed to the Hagen Museum for the morbid story of a murdered trunk. On March 24, 1906, an untagged trunk sat for hours on the platform of the Southern Railroad Depot in Stockton. When workers dragged the heavy trunk to the baggage room, they noticed a foul smell. After prying it open, authorities found a deceased man. A delivery boy was summoned for questioning. He told them a woman staying at the California lodging house had hired him to deliver her trunk of dishes. Referencing the hotel's guest book, they identified the man as Albert McVicar, staying in room 97 alongside his wife. His wife, however, was gone. The only thing left behind was a release of pictures including of a woman. Authorities wired a description to the Bay Area and two days later, Miss Emma McVicar was found. Although Emma was still married to McVicar, she let authorities know her name was Miss Ledoux at her mother's in Amador County. She married Eugene Ledoux, her alleged childhood sweetheart, consequently engaging in bigamy. The day before McVicar's death, the couple shopped in Stockton at Bruner's Home Furniture, requesting their purchases be sent to their home in Jamestown. Emma returned later, requesting a change. The furniture would not be sent towards Amador County, an address to Mr. Ledoux. During her trial, prosecutors speculated she dosed McVicar with lethal amounts of morphine to get rid of her bigamy issue. Her trial became a spectacle. Newspapers and the public were intrigued by the trunk murderess. She became the first woman sentenced to hang in California. She appealed and was paroled 10 years later, but continued to have run-ins with the law, leaving behind a morbid story for us to tell.